if you saw a kayak on a river, what what would you uh, want them to do? Would, they, would you want them to follow your signals or? Well, most of them know anyway, so no, I have no problem. With it. Some of the anglers at are in our club and the way they abuse the waters, they should never hold a fishing rod in their hand, ever. Have you had any problems with other river users in the past and if you have? No. There's not that many kayakers on here but anyway I've seen going down they always give you a wave and we give them a wave, you know. It's not like there's a lot of traffic on here anyway. There's enough, enough room for everybody really, isn't there? I got into kayaking by um, one time when I was swimming with my mum at the local pool and on the way out she picked up a leaflet for uh, kayaking lessons on a Saturday night. Started there just one hour and a week on a Saturday evening, and then the instructors there had a, a club that ran on the river and rest on to the river and paddled with the club for years and made mates and just kept paddling. Yeah, and really enjoy it. So what do you enjoy about fishing? What's, uh, what's good about that? Well, catching the fish really, that's it, you know, trying to catch a big one, catch a decent fish, you know. My name is uh, Chris Easterbrook, I work uh, on the river as a whitewater kayak coach, so I spend um, you know, at least five out of seven days on the river working with, with students and new people to the, to the environment really. It's a really, really great job of getting people out there and, and enjoying, enjoying the natural environment. Well, the reason why I go kayaking is the adventure side of it really. I like the challenge and the adrenaline of white water, but I just like the places and it takes you in the narrow gorges, the beautiful landscapes, you know, where we're in the UK or abroad, and, and I'm really passionate about sharing that, that ability to have an adventure. Man in the cities look into their eyes and wait down low Long time to crawl Two parts form and wait until they grow
evermore my love to lay beside me as I wake. Man in the city's looking for her eyes and a way to go somewhere to fall. So I suppose for you this is the uh, this is the exciting bit, is it? This is the, the bit you come for. It's a nice one. Beauty of that. Let's get it back. The experience I've had of other um, river users and particularly thinking of anglers, it's quite mixed really. Some anglers are, are okay to see you, some just ignore you, and some some get quite antsy with you. Uh, a couple of times when I've gotten rivers, I've been approached by um, farmers or local landowners and given a bit of grief and told not to paddle. And um, yeah, just just sometimes some of the angling clubs have, have been quite quite anti. Have you had any problems in the past with other river users at all? With other river users? Yeah. Uh, only people coming fishing too close to me. Or people fishing opposite me, casting to where I'm fishing, you know. Had any problems with kayakers at all, or canoeists? No, no, because uh, I talked to them. <laughs> yeah? The, the... There were two came past me uh, two weeks ago, two elderly elderly gentlemen, in the Canadian queues, you know what I mean by Canadian queues? Yeah. And uh, it were pouring down with rain. And I said to them, it's not the weather for it. I've come across quite a few issues on the water. Uh, mainly, mainly really, a fishermen that claim claim they have sole right or or it's private property where, where I go kayaking um, and uh, don't seem overly keen to, to share the water. Um, claim to have rights that are somewhat in dispute and I tend to be quite aggressive about it as well. Which um, you know, when, when I've got a group, maybe. Some, some you know, less confident people, some nervous people in the water, to then have someone casting a line in us or perhaps being quite aggressive is just not, not ideal. In the vast majority of cases that I've come across, you know, most fishermen are very friendly, they nod and smile, you have a little wave, you have a little chat, and then you carry on. So my general, my general overall kind of take on it is that everyone's really friendly and I like to believe everyone can get along well, but there's just this tiny few people. No, no issues at all, you know, not come across any problems. Only the odd farmer who thinks he's, you know, that he's got all the rights and he hasn't, you know. I mean, I'm not one who goes, we're not jumping over fences and <laughs> at my age I don't jump over fences or anything. And I, I pay for me uh, fishing and that's it. That's don't have uh, many run into other river users, but most of them have been pretty friendly. Had the rare occasion where you get the odd fisherman that gets a bit angry towards the end of the season, but I think that's due to sort of unwritten guidelines and things like that. Paddling, and I love the paddling community as well because you quite often find other paddlers really friendly, willing to help out. If someone takes a, a swim on the river, then strangers that you never met uh, will help out, get the boat out, throw your paddle out for you, and just everyone chips in together, you're all in the same boat, and uh, really enjoy that.
tell me a little bit about any sort of issues you might have had on the rivers with other people. We haven't had any real issues. We had the odd, the odd issue with the odd farmer and, uh, and that who's not been happy because you so called in his, in his land or whatever. But other than that, we're not. Through my line or anything like that. Yeah. Well, if I see him going past, I pull in anyway. So. Right, yeah. It's not like they're, they're for long through in two minutes, aren't they? So. Yeah. There's no point falling out over it, really. Especially on the D in, in, in uh, close to my house, there's quite a lot of aggression there. It's, it's just not the kind of environment you want outside and uh, uh, while enjoying my activity. And especially at uh, working, it's just what I want to avoid. Really. Just I just don't agree with the fact that the you know all these rules change because of a few idiots. Everybody should have a right to enjoy the rivers. Yeah.